when I was younger and I would have it out with a guy or break up with a guy, I would cause a scene, scream at the top of my lungs, act a fool. I needed to know, I needed this guy to know just what the fuck he did. But after a certain age, I just, I don't give a fuck anymore. God damn it. You'll just wake up and be blocked. You'll be texting me and it'll still show up delivered, but they won't be going anywhere. If I ever live with a man, which I highly doubt, you'll just come home and my shit will be gone. I've, I've had the privilege of befriending when I was young women who were much older than me. And that's just something that I always admired about them is that when they're done, they just go on. They don't care. And I, I just never understood, like, how can you do that? And now that I am older, now that I am, you know, been in therapy for several years now, I just don't care. If, if you cheat or act stupid or, you know, I feel like I'm over the relationship unless it was like a meaningful relationship and we've just, you know, grown apart. It wasn't anything serious. That I'll just disappear. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Most men are energy vampires and they feed off of the reactions that you give them, whether it be good or bad. So the most powerful thing you can do, and you can argue with me, I don't give a shit. The most powerful thing you can do, and I will stand by this, is to just disappear. And on a serious note, um, there's a case that has gone national of a woman who told her, I, I don't know the specifics, but she told her husband she was leaving him or he was served divorce papers. And then a couple days later or shortly after, she's now no longer with us. And it's just, it's also a safety issue. And the misconception is you only do this with men who are obviously a threat. But I heard someone who um, has kind of worked in these cases and things like that say that even if the man seems like a golden retriever, you still, it's not recommended that you give them a heads up that you're leaving or, or, or stick around when divorce papers are being solved because there have been cases when even the most golden retrieverist of men have like flipped the script um, once they are faced with the end of their relationship or marriage. So with that being said, it's it's not just about not giving men power and not giving men your energy. energy. Um, it's ultimately also a safety issue. And as somebody who is a very dramatic ass person, I'm a very passionate person. I am a very petty person. Try the samples at Costco. Don't try me. When it comes to dealing with men, fuck you. That's, that's literally where I'm at. I will end that shit and move on with my life and be chilling, watching The Office, eating a bag of Funyuns.